Let's take a look at this example. This time we have a circuit which contains the current source. But in our case, this is not going to be a big problem. And we're supposed to simply again look what we can do in order to find Z total. Please notice that our circuit contains capacitors and inductors. So the very first thing you're supposed to check what is given if it comes to inductors and capacitance. We have given inductance 15 millihenries and we have given capacitance. So it means that we're supposed to find the inductive reactance or impedance of the inductor or capacitive reactance, which we can say this is the impedance of the capacitor. So this is the very first thing which you're supposed to do. Please notice that the frequency is not given. That's why we are going to use the omega. Okay, so this is omega. So we're supposed to write that impedance of the inductor is equal omega L, where omega is equal 44,000 pi radians 